Okay, so now we will look at desoldering the component that we just put in there into the board, which is that resistor. Okay, um, so let's uh, just remind ourselves uh, what we had here. We had we soldered this side on and this side on. This side was the second side that we soldered on, by the way. And actually, I like the uh, connection that I made here on the second side better. Uh, this side has just a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit too much solder on it, just a little too much. Uh, but the main thing is, though, is if you uh, can look at it, you'll notice that it doesn't touch any of the other pads, so it is acceptable. But this side here, it looks like it has just the right amount of solder, and it's on the one pad itself, okay? So this, to me, this side would be the better side, the second uh, solder that I did at the beginning of the video. All right. So now, let's uh, talk about our desoldering here. Uh, so for the desoldering, I'm going to again use my uh, helping hands here. And I'm going to use, uh, this time, I'm gonna use a desoldering iron. And I love these uh, significantly over, let's say a soldering iron and a bulb or the soldering iron and the, uh, the uh, wire wick. Okay, because if you need to get components out really fast, this does a really good job at it. Okay, so I've been uh, heating up the desoldering iron already. And uh, what you'll notice is that there's a bulb down here at the end, and you hear a sound. And if you look at the tip of the desoldering iron, you'll see that there's a little uh, hole at the top there. Okay. And these two together make the desoldering iron, in my opinion, uh, superior to any of the other uh, options for uh, desoldering. Okay, so the way how this works is the wire that is at the end here, what you want to do is you want to get that inside of the hole of the desoldering iron. Okay, before you do that though, press the bulb and hold it down and then put the desoldering iron onto the component. When you do that and then you release the bulb, it sucks the, the solder from around the uh, wire there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to press on this. I'm going to go into the board here, onto the uh, component, and then just let it go. And you'll notice that it sucked out a lot of the uh, solder on there. In fact, just about everything. All right. And then I'm going to, uh, on the side here, let's move this back into play here. I'm just going to press that, that bulb to get the solder that was sucked into it back out. Okay. All right. Let's grab now the uh, solder from the other side here. So again, I'm going to press the bulb put the soldering iron onto the wire so that the wire goes into that hole and then just suck it up, suck up the solder. And then over here, I'm just gonna hit the bulb so that the solder comes out, okay? Let's put my soldering iron here on the side off screen. And now that I've done that, you want to be very careful here. Don't touch the actual component itself because it may still be a little bit warm. So I'm going to use some uh, needle nose pliers here. We should be able to pull the component out uh, out of the board at this point. Okay. And so there you see we uh, desoldered uh, that component. Okay. So that's how you would desolder using the soldering uh, iron. Okay, so let's say you don't have a desoldering iron. Well, you can also use a desoldering uh, wick or solder wick, okay? And the way how this works is you take the soldering iron, you put the soldering wick on the component, then put the soldering iron at the top, and that heats up the uh, solder. And then the solder then goes in between the grooves of the soldering wick and gets sucked into that and then you cut off pieces at the end of the soldering wick when you're finished, okay? So let's uh, look at doing that. So I'm going to connect uh, the board here onto this component. And this is a different uh, component that I had uh, previously soldered on here, okay? Um, 
my suggestion also uh, would be uh, to make this a lot quicker anyway to cut the component off before we actually do this so let's go ahead and do that so let's cut off this component this is a capacitor that I'm cutting off and I'm using those clippers again and this just helps to give you a little bit of space to maneuver and give you some time in order to uh, desolder the component here quicker and not damage any neighboring parts okay so we go ahead now we take the wick we put that onto the component here the wires okay and that sucks up some of the uh, solder and then we can just push on the wire through the top here and it falls right through okay and then you'll take the solder wick again put that onto the component it sucks up the solder and then you can push the wire right through and you'll notice that the solder here there's solder at the end okay once we've done that you can go to the other side and just pull on the wires that were uh, soldered in there okay all right so that's how you use a soldering uh, wick in order to desolder and then by the way like I said at the end you can just clip off the solder wick that was used okay all right so that concludes the uh, this video on um, soldering and desoldering please do check out my YouTube website for additional information and you can also check out my website at www.clydeletsum.com again that's www.clydeletsum.com